if I might just say so myself. Uh, got some heavyweight fighters now. So <laughs> that Trojak looking very confident. Ben Ojog, the Tiger Ojog. Having a little chat with Ben before the show. He's uh, He works in construction and he's predicting a round one KO. Boom. He might have his hands full with uh, my man Philip Trojak. Who knows how this fight's going to go, but both men, giants of men. This is a heavyweight battle if ever I've seen one. I feel like Philip Trojak is going to have a slight advantage on, Lee, on reach. Over Ben Ojog, Ben the Tiger. I'm just going to call him the Tiger. Called the Tiger because that beautiful tattoo on his left arm. Now these guys, they've come off the camp. They've done six weeks training, eight weeks training, part of the Elite Combat MMA course, fighting for charity. And they're putting it all on the line here at H Street, Birmingham. Ben Ojog representing. I know that Ben also said that when he was a kid, he did a little bit of wrestling, some uh, Greco-Roman. And he's here representing his country, Romania. Looking very confident. I'm, uh, you know, that little bit of wrestling could be the difference when you're coming off, you know, a short training camp. Go. Oh, the tiger coming out like a tiger. Closing the distance using that Greco Roman. Greco Roman wrestling is upper body control. It's exactly what he's doing there. That's throwing bombs, coming in, getting that clinch, but he's eating a few on the way in now. Wow, both men throwing huge shots. Nothing's landed too clean so far. Oh, massive takedown for the tiger. Oh. Philip Trojak's on the back foot. The Tigers barreling forward. How long could he keep this pace? Wow, what an exciting fight. Absolutely insane, this one. Trojak's trying to slow the pace, slow down the relentless pursuit of the Tiger. The Tigers dragged it to the floor. What can he do from there? He's holding him. He's using great upper body control. This is the problem with wrestling. Wrestling, wrestling is, you, Jiu Jitsu is the art of you know getting someone and, and submitting them, breaking something, choking something. Whereas uh, wrestling is the art of holding someone down, which is a little bit of a different thing. Oh, the Tigers barreling forwards. Huge shot. Nice right hand got through there. Ozog's on his back feet. Tigers land another right. Oh wow, what warriors. Uh, I think both men are glad this is only two minute rounds this fight. The Tigers still barreling forward. Sometimes it's a good strategy if you're the shorter man. You always want to keep the tall guy running back, try to keep his range and you want to stay on his toes. Both men taking deep breaths. Nice sign of respect. Trojak versus Ogaj. Ben Ogaj driving forward again. Trojak. He's got long arms. If he could throw some straight shots, it, it would help him keep, keep the tiger on his back foot. Nah, that's better. Now he's landing some jabs. Now he's fighting a bit more intelligently. He's circling, circling, circling. Jab. That's better. Keep range. Keep range. Excellent work from Trojak. Now he's turning on. The tiger's barreling back in, though. Throwing his own bombs again. What an exciting fight. Trojak versus Ojog, the first round. 
And then they're uh, having a little hug at the end of round one. Great show of respect between these two fighters. The lovely ring girl. How much has the tiger got left in the tank? Ben the tiger o dodge. I, I, one would assume you've got to give round one to him. I mean, he did a lot more action. He was barreling forward, definitely landed a lot of shots. But just at the end there, Trojak seemed to just better pick his shots a little bit better, keep the distance. Every time the Tiger came barreling in, landed jab. Just, I felt like at the end of that round, the, 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 the fight was just turning just a little bit. Absolutely fantastic performance by both of these men, though. I'm very interested in round two. It's all about the gas tank now. Round one was about the power, the aggression, that huge takedown. Round two, who's been doing those runs? Who's been on the bike in the gym? Clearly both of these men lift some weights. But who's been doing their cardio afterwards? Trojak now he's doing a bit better, picking his punches. The tiger barreling forwards, knocking the cage over. It's got great Greco-Roman pressure, does the does the tiger. Oh, he landed on him on his head. Good reversal of position. Classic Greco-Roman there. Excellent work. Harking back to those childhood days on the mat, drilling in Romania. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, he's out, it's all over. I think this I think the takedown landing him on his head did enough damage. Ooh, I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, an illegal knee. I didn't see it from my angle. Interesting referee. Illegal knee from the Tiger. I think it needed him on the floor. You can see from the angle I was at. Very experienced referee, Harvey Harra. Didn't like what he saw. Yeah, Trojak gets some knees going. The Tiger. Slipping out, moving ahead position. Excellent work. Nice. Drags into the mat, does the Tiger. Very good work. Nice landing shots from the top. Trojak trying to kick him away with that knee shield. Can he get to his feet? Oh, lovely foul from Trojak. Landing his own big shots. Who's got the better cardio out of these two men? It's electrifying the atmosphere here at Hedge Suite, Hedge Suite in Birmingham. It's really Trojak. So little left in the tank. But he's still swinging. The Tiger is trying, he's still barreling forward, still with the pressure. Both men just almost agreeing to have a little rest. We can go back to pummeling each other. <laughs> wow. <laughs> These are only two minute rounds. I can't believe the level of cardio we're seeing here. That's a, there's a famous quote that cardio, uh, or fatigue makes cowards of us all. And both men, they look like they don't want to be in this fight anymore. Just from the sheer, sheer exhaustion of it. But what action we have had. 
This is Elite Combat MMA, one of the UK's top amateur promotions. This is white collar. These guys have come off an eight week training camp and they're giving the heart and soul trying to fight. Ben Ogar just looks like he's got nothing less. He's barely struggling to stand. And Philippe Trojak is no better, really. I'm so surprised the referee didn't wave it off after that illegal strike. There could have just been a disqualification. Decided to ask for the Trojak if he could continue. As, I mean, it's, it might not, might not have been the result Philip Trojak wanted if it got stopped there, but you know, if he loses his decision, he's going to feel very upset about the result. Wow, what action this has been. Here we go. Round three. <laughs> you ever seen that video, picture video moment in a computer game? Well, uh, it's the finishing moment where they're both just stood so tired. Referee's going to have to call it off in a minute. <laughs> wow. Disappointing. Neither man had anything left to give. Cardio, cardio, cardio. It's so important. You've got to be able to do three rounds if you're going to be a fighter. Incredible. Fight waved off. Harvey Harrod did the right thing. I'm surprised he didn't do it sooner, I've got to be honest. <laughs> oh, they're giving their decisions up to that point. We might still have a winner.